have had clients all the way coming and uh, from around 1993 we decided to introduce NHF within the hospital. Um, we found that even as much as our rates were quite low, because our rates we tend to be very favorable for our clients, because besides offering good service, we also look at the, the budget side of the client. Uh, we discovered that there are people who weren't able to meet their bills, and that is why we were able to introduce NHIF in 1993, just to make sure everybody is able to acquire health, good health care, quality health care at affordable um, rate for them. So we have encouraged many people to sign up for NHIF and actually even pay for it because at the end of the day it becomes very affordable for them. Okay, so for maternal health care, we encourage that mummies, as soon as they discover their pregnancy, actually just start coming for clinic. It's very important just to know the state at which your child is right from the beginning of the gestation of the, of the particular baby. So we have the prenatal uh, uh, clinics going on. We have prenatal clinics and we, uh, uh, during our first clinic, we actually take through the mum a few tests just to know the blood groups and what their blood, um, you know, they, we also do also other tests just to know how they are before at the beginning of the pregnancy and then along the way we, we also encourage an, um, a number of visits to have the immunizations that they require before and also besides that we have a theater we have a maternity a labor ward that is uh, very functional even the theater and after that we also encourage mummies not because some of them actually after having the babies they fall out they fall out and we don't get to see the babies and it's, we also encourage them to bring back the babies and not just the babies, even they themselves. It's also good for them to just be checked and see how they are because there are other um, issues that arises after having the baby. My name is Wambugu Hudson. I'm the hospital administrator and I've been here for one of our years. Our facility is located along Nkongkisin Road and uh, we offer the services like uh, theatre services but so even for the mothers who are doing the CSR we do it here another minor surgeries we do them here we also do the clinics that is for both the mothers and the, and the children we also offer the ultrasound service that imaging services we also do the pharmacy we have a, a modern also lab that is able to do a number of tests in a facility. We also do the counseling and also we do uh, other services like uh, like rehabilitating the those people who are the, the, the influence of substance, that is the drug abuse. I'm Esther Karanja. I, I work for maternity for Matasia Nursing Home, whereby I'm the marketing executive. We have all the services with us here on medical issues. We are the service provider for corporate clients, e.g. National Police, National Police Service, TSC, and also NHIF. We are at the maternity ward. These are the beds whereby we hold mothers who just come to labor here and deliver their children. And we normally do the services even using NHIF card. We usually use the NHIF card on consultation drugs, lab services, and also inpatient. Yes, this hospital is a quite a big one. We have a bed capacity of 30, whereby we can hold 30 patients at the same time. My name is JG Kamal. I'm the clinic officer in charge at Matasia Nursing Home. I oversee that all patients who are admitted are taken care of and followed up investigated well, treated well and discharged in the health course. Uh, for each patient who are coming for patients, they are admitted, who are critical in the admitted and followed up also. I also do under patient uh, attending to the I attend to the patient department for the patients. I send them to the lab, prescribe medications, request for investigations, further investigation that is including the lab, imaging and any other that may be needed, maybe counseling and referring appropriately if, uh, in case of in case of a medical need. So that is the big role that I usually do here. So in regards to diabetes, eh, being one of the chronic illnesses that we do treat here in our facility, 
we usually do follow up of them. We have a we have a clinic that we usually have on certain dates. We have a booklet that is usually uh, indicates uh, the previous the due date for return and the current date. Follow up on the BP readings. It usually also entails the lab work, the lab work for diabetic people. That is the liver function, the renal function, the lipid profile, the HbA1c. That is so vital in management of this patient. Kwa machine na mimi naitwa Benson. Kwaole yugi. Na hii kadi ya NHIF nimekaa nayo karibu miaka 15. Na hii kadi nilipata kwa kushughulikia mahitaji yangu mimi mwenyewe kwanza pamoja na familia. Na hii kadi ni nzuri kwa sababu mahali tunapata shida ya ugonjwa nafikiri hii kadi inatusaidia sana kwa gharama. Asua kwa hizi mahospitali ambazo zinachukua kadi hii zimetusaidia kwa muda mrefu kama hii nasi home ya Matasia. E, nimewahi kwa pata accident nikakuja hapa na nikaweza kutibiwa vizuri sana na kadi naye kanisaidia. Uh, this is Matasia Nursing Home Theater. It is a theater that was established three years ago. We offer cesarean section, we offer other, other minor surgeries and even other major surgeries. We have doctors who are able to do the cesarean section uh, in cases of emergency. We are all covered. The, the surgeries are covered by the NHIF card and you're welcome and you feel safe in our hands. Yes, we have, we have the, as you can see, these are, it is a modern general anesthesia machine which is able to help the patients um, and the doctor who is uh, using it to, to cover the surgeries needed by the doctor. And we have the medications, as you can see, we are well covered. We have the medicines that are used by the anesthesia. We have the instruments that the doctors are using. We have the lamp light that is able to direct the light enough for the doctor who is doing the surgery. Mm -hmm. We have the diatomy machine. In case they bleed us, the doctor is able to do to use the diatomy to protect the the bleeding, to arrest the bleeding. Yeah, we have the anesthesia machine which is able to send surgery yeah. one, one patient at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the surgery depends on how many hours it is going to take, so we take one patient at a time. This is a baby incubator machine where the baby, when received from theatre, if the baby is, is under it, the baby is put in this machine to monitor the vitals, to keep the baby warm, to give the baby enough oxygen until the baby matures to age. Yeah, that is the use of the machine. Welcome. So this is Matasia Lasino. This is the lab department. My name is Peter Kimani, the lab in charge. And this is our setup and we do a variety of tests. We have the full hemogram whereby we check the blood infection. We also do the basic chemistry where we do the liver functional test. We have the kidney and also we do the lipid profile. We also have the, the, the special chemistry where we do the HB1C, we do the PSA, we have the CRP, and we also do the thyroids, eh? stimulating hormones, we have the thyroid hormones, and we also do our transfusion. So in case anybody needs a blood transfusion, this is a place where you can come and you'll be sorted. And we also have the basic laboratory test where we test the pregnancy, the grouping, we also check for the stool over and cyst. Yeah, those are the various tests that we have here. And wherever you are in any corner, you are most welcome and you get the best services here. Eh, kwa majina ni naitwa Anne. Na huyu nime akwa hapa ni baba yangu na dada yangu. So, ako na kadi ya NHF. Ndio natumia hapa. Huyu baba yangu amekuwa na shida ya pressure na na sukari. Na sasa kama hii hii mambo sasa inamshika na nafsi. Eh, na ndio sasa inafanya kuja hapa nisi hospitali inatumia kadi sana sana kwa mpande wa mifuko ndio inaregea sana ndio naona 
Nilinona mambo na kugojeka ni kitu ya ghafla. Inakuta mtu kwa ghafla. So, ndio tukaona tumuleta hapa juu anatumia kadi.